So even though analog monitoring systems may be considered kind of an old way of doing things, in this Debaco University video, I'm going to cover why they may still be utilized and why growers may choose to use them over digital systems. All right, let's get into analog monitoring systems for indoor cannabis production. So starting with the advantages of an analog monitoring system is first one being it's a simplified mechanics. They're reliable and less prone to failure, and they also tend to be less expensive compared to digital monitoring systems. All these are great attraction points to many growers. The analog systems are simple. Uh, they are just kind of a little bit of that kind of fail safe end of things, definitely allowing that kind of repeatability. They can, can translate to a simple purchase setup and go operations. There's no need to calibrate standardized in some cases. Uh, they just kind of are right there and kind of in your face. With many other uh, complications in a grow facility, having this simplicity is a critical piece of environmental monitoring can be welcome to many growers, especially if you're looking at just quick reading at what's the temperature, what's the humidity, having an analog system can be advantageous in that regards. Also, the analog is simple, the reliability. Uh, analog monitoring systems due to their simplicity are often less prone to failure. Digital sensors can fail unexpectedly where analog sensors will work with basic mechanics, so the likelihood of unexpected failure is less than a digital operation. Give the comparison of these two different phone types, the digital phone and the more analog phone. How many times in the last 10 years have people gone through and had to change out their digital phones when these old style rotary analog phones can last for 10, 20, 30, potentially up to 50 years and still be operational. So also in addition, we have to consider price points. With many expenses of a growing operation, saving some money and a monitoring system can be important. And analog systems, if set up properly, will not perform any less than a competing digital system. While there may be some features missing compared to a digital system, analog monitors can still provide growers important information. So this is why they can still be utilized in some grow facilities very effectively. Well, where analog monitors are and are not recommended. So if you're going with an analog system, typically I really wouldn't recommend it if you're looking at pH or carbon dioxide enrichment or looking at light levels. They're more advantageous for just the temperature humidity, just to give you an idea of where those uh, typical environmental factors are around. Lastly, I want you to remember with digital and as well as analog is that the sensor is only as good as the placement. So watch the other video here to make sure you're placing your sensor in the right location. So regardless of what system you're using, you're getting an accurate and reliable reading. Mm -hmm. 